Hello, good morning. Today we are going thrifting at the Goodwill Outlet, aka the bins where you pay by the pound. I have been having a lot of luck at the bins recently, but I haven't been able to stay very long. I've always had time constraints, been on a schedule, so I'm staying for like less than an hour, not through many rotations. I maybe get a few items, but then I have to leave. Today I have no schedule. I am just going to thrift for as long as I please and I'm prepared for it. I've got my fanny pack with all my essentials inside, some AirPods, my keys, my wallet, extra hair tie, tied to go pen, chopstick. Then I've got the Ikea bag full of other Ikea bags. And then within it, I have water bottle, some snacks and I am just good to go, ready to have a good thrift day. I always try to wear stuff that's comfortable because the bins are a workout. You gotta dig, you gotta make sure you're ready. So I'm all good to go. I'm excited. I hope the thrift gods are on our sides, but let's get to it. I got to the bins just a few minutes after they opened. It was already pretty crowded. I was not able to get a cart right away, but that's what Ikea bags can help with. I found this Aviator Nation hoodie, my first time finding this brand, and a great start to today's thrift trip. This vintage puffer coat is so cool, and I feel like it gives really similar vibes to Aviator Nation with those rainbow details. A few name brand finds this Ted Baker swimsuit, a Comtois de Cotonne silk dress, another 100% silk dress. This one is brand new with tags from number six store. I love vintage blazers and I've noticed I really love this brand, Joan Leslie. Their fit and patterns are almost always a win in my books. I actually found another one today and it had a really cute rosette at the collar, but it also had significant staining, so I did end up leaving that one behind. Speaking of rosettes i found this crinkle blouse with a huge rosette it's also brand new with tags back to digging even old bins can have some gems that were missed or maybe were someone's putbacks i found this 100 silk floral maxi dress the cow neck style looks very 90s i am really hoping it fits me Another gem in the same bin, a leather mini skirt. It looks really similar to some Alexander McQueen styles. I don't think it is, but there is no brand or tag. However, I can tell it's really quality by the hardware, the material, the fact that it's lined, and overall just really well made. Such a sweet 100% silk floral blouse. It looks very early 2000s. A couple of free people pieces, this baby blue ribbed pullover, and a satin printed midi or maxi skirt. Not quite sure which yet. Some pretty high-end brand finds, most of which, actually all of which were dresses. Bash, a Tory Burch, Popette St. Barth. This one was actually brand new with tags and a Stark X piece. I found quite a few vintage pieces, most of which were pretty sparkly, starting off with this silk sequined mini skirt, a sequin embroidered denim mini dress, this beaded black wrap front top or blazer kind of thing, this satin paisley blouse, and finally the most amazing piece which was this green sequent maxi dress. The slit is even feathered. An Alice and Olivia floral duffel bag. I think this was from a Fit Fab Fun Box, so it isn't as high-end as typical Alice and Olivia, but still so cute and it even has the little strap inside. An aloe tie-dye tote bag. I really love how roomy this bag is. This vintage cardigan with a fur collar was definitely a beauty back in the day, but it just had so many flaws. The fur needed a clean. There were holes and snags, so it was just a pass on my end. This mini dress is Wild Fable, which is just Target, but I think it is so cute and it was brand new with tags. This is what my cart ended up looking like. I always take the time to go through everything, double checking for flaws, making sure I really want to get these items. Even after going through, I had a lot. I ended up getting over 50 pounds. I asked the thrift gods to be on our side before I went thrifting, and I definitely think they were. I ended up getting over 50 pounds, which is crazy because I have never gotten over 50 pounds by myself before. I have with a friend, you know, we kind of checked out together to get the discount but I've never done it alone. And I ended up getting 58 pounds to be exact. So 
that came out to $115 before tax or $125 after tax. I did round up a few cents. That That's a really good deal. I ended up getting, I want to say like 70 items. I was kind of counting as I was putting everything on the floor to, to go through and do the haul. But I, I, I honestly just gave up. I think after 50, I'm just like, I just want to show you guys the finds because they are so freaking good. I've already washed everything. Everything that can't be washed, I've fully steamed it. And then I have one bag that I'm either going to take to the dry cleaner or just I have to specialty clean. I need to figure out how exactly I'm going to clean those items. But everything else has been completely washed. Let's get into it because there are so many things to go through. Starting off with one of the heavier finds, but a really great one. This is an entire King sheet set from Brooklinen. And I don't know if you guys have gotten those targeted Instagram ads for Brooklinen sheets, but I've been really tempted to buy them. And then I go click and then I'm like, oh, these are over $150 up to like 300 plus, depending on the, the style. I don't know which exact style this is. I just saw that they were Brooklinen. They were king size sheets. They were in great condition. I was like, I got to get these. Really excited to find these. And I know they're sheets and a little bit odd, I guess, to thrift from the bins. But basically I wash these with laundry sanitizer once and then I wash them again with like my organic crunchy laundry detergent and then I put them in the dryer because the dryer kills literally everything. So an amazing, really nice quality set of sheets. I'm really excited to try those out. And then the dresses. Let's get into those because oof, there are some good finds here. So this is a number six store, 100% silk black floral dress. So pretty for spring. It's brand new with tags. It retailed for over $500. Crazy. Another dress that retailed for over $500. Popette St. Barth. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, guys. I don't shop at designer stores. <laughs> I shop at the bins, so who knows, but... Brand new with tags. This retailed for like five ten. Just insane. An insane find and so pretty for spring. Another floral dress. This one does not retail for 500. I think it retails for 80. It's the brand Rhythm, which looks like an online boutique kind of brand. Just a really nice, sweet, dainty floral print and minimalist midi dress. And it's a nice fabric blend. I believe it's like a Rami cotton blend. Really sweet for the upcoming warmer months. Now we're back to another bougie dress. This is Hannah Artwear, which it's, it's totally not doing it justice holding it up. I'll, I'll attach a stock image so you can kind of get the idea of what's going on with these straps that are coming off. But it's a gorgeous maxi tie around halter dress. Absolutely gorgeous. Such a unique piece. And I think that people might have thought that it was like a sheet set because just it, it doesn't do much in a clump. But then if you like wear it, it, it just is such a statement piece. And I believe that this brand is sold at Saks Fifth Avenue and I think it retails for like close to 400. It definitely can be one of those things that you can find on sale. Like I saw it on Saks on Fifth for, I wanna say like 200-ish, but still, I got it for what? Like $2? Who knows? This is really, really pretty. This is a 100% silk maxi dress. I need to do a try on on this one. I, I kind of want to keep it. I just don't know where I'll wear it, but who knows? I just love, I love this 90s neck, that little like cow scoop neck thing. It's so freaking pretty and it's so quality too because it's not only 100% silk, it's got a full lining. Absolutely gorgeous. This is an anthropology gauzy cotton romper. It does have pockets. Another piece that just, the camera isn't doing it justice, but I want to show you guys everything I got. Oh, this is another 90s floral dress gem. This one's a little bit shorter. I don't really know the size on this, but I just love 90s floral dresses. They are amazing. I am going to do a whatnot show, y'all, specifically with all the vintage pieces because 
I just, I went to town finding the cute vintage pieces and I want to bring them to y'all. So we will be doing a what not sale. I want to say the beginning of April, like April 1st ish. I need to look at a calendar, but I'll have the details down below. Just so you know, when I'm going through some of these vintage dresses and other vintage pieces, that's what I've got in mind. This is a really cool vintage python kind of dress. This was a TLC piece. It had some kind of funk going on. I feel like somebody had donated a bunch of vintage that had been in either like an attic or a garage, somewhere where it wasn't fully kept out of the elements. Like it was a little bit, it, it smelled musty. It had a bit of a layer of grime. So I brought it all home, soaked a lot of it in OxyClean, washed it, steamed it, and now it is just looking as good as ever. But I just really like this piece. I feel like you can tell it's really quality, the sheen and everything on it. It doesn't have a brand or anything, but it does have like a side zip. I still have it unzipped. Just a cool piece. I'll definitely have to take measurements of the pieces that don't have size tags involved. Another just floral dress. This is, this, I'm not able to show this off well, but look at the bottom. It's so pretty. Just, I think this is probably also 90s as well. JG hook, really pretty little maxi dress. This is a modern boutique dress. I love, love, love this embroidery. It just, it feels very, I don't know, it's giving grease, at least to me. That's, that's what I think about when I see this, but really pretty with the navy blue accents. And this looks really similar to a blogger favorite Zara dress, but that's actually a boutique brand. This is like Sunday up. So I don't know what came first, this dress or the Zara dress. Who knows? Who knows? This is an interesting find. It was very expensive back in its day. This is Faceskins Theory. Again, I could be butchering Faceskins. Sorry. But it's a line of Theory, the Theory brand, you all know. It was sold back in, I want to say 2013. I don't know. I saw it on one of those, like, It Girl 2013, what you could wear to homecoming and prom. I actually saw that article and that's how I knew that this was from 2013. So it's definitely an older style. It retailed for like $800. Who in that magazine put that on a wear this to homecoming and prom? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Retail for like $800 back in the day. I might be able to resell it for 10% or less of that. It's just really, really gorgeous. It's got all of these little embellishments on it. It's 100% silk, fully lined, just a gorgeous fairy-like dress. This is a Tory Burch linen maxi cover-up dress. Really pretty. I think that it actually is officially called a kaftan, not 100% sure. I saw the stock images, but perfect for the summer up. I think they market it as more of like a cover up or something to wear either with pants, just something that you don't wear alone. That's how it was marketed. Ooh, this is a vintage gem, a granny square knit vest. I love granny squares so much. Such a cool piece so many fun ways to style it and i really like that it's open front so it doesn't feel as restrictive to like only one size because people could kind of wear it many different ways Ooh, this piece i don't know why i just love love loved this piece and it was in really good condition when i got home i did notice it had some marks on the white but i soaked it in oxyclean and it cleaned up really well it's like a windbreaker golf polo by Liz Claiborne golf line. I just love this. I love crew necks. Oh, and it has the front pockets that are hidden. Really cool piece. A top with a little rosette detail. I love the rosette details so much. I really loved the rosette chokers. I was never bold enough to try one, but I do really like them on clothing. And this 
is so cool. This top is new with tags. I feel like this looks vintage, but I'm not for sure. I'm just not familiar with this brand, but I think this style, this tag looks vintage. I just don't wanna, I don't wanna misquote and say that it's vintage and then it not be. This is a Venezia jeans, sheer floral top. I love these V-neck tops with the little cinch waist. Ooh, another top that has the similar kind of cut. This one is 100% silk. I love this floral print so much and the little cinch. This one's actually at the chest, not at the under bust. I feel like cardigans are just having a moment and this one is so perfect for spring. I love the lavender color. The fact that it's like an open crochet knit, so it's just a little bit more breathable. This one is so perfect. I am so excited to host this whatnot show and have all of these gems in it. As soon as I was finding so many good things and just things that just weren't only my size, I was like, I gotta have a show so I can bring it to y'all and it is gonna be so much fun. If there are other items that you're looking for that weren't in the haul, let me know because I'll have a little bit of time between now and when that whatnot show is. So I'll just keep my eyes peeled as I kind of am thrifting in between. This is a Victoria's Secret sheer floral embellished corset top. It's got a lace back. I think someone on Love is Blind wore this. I'm not for sure, but I reverse Google image searched it and it came up on the, someone wore this on TV. And I wanna say it was Love is Blind, but I'm not for sure. It might've been some other reality show. Who knows, either way really pretty piece and victoria's secret corsets are one of those things that just retail for so much but way not very much at the bin so i had to snag that i think it's kind of coveted because it was worn on tv i got this for myself i need to try it on i'm interested to see how it'll look but i think it'll be really cute i usually don't like those plunging necks but this one really spoke to me for some reason. I think it's really the color more so than anything, but we'll see. I, I really want it. I don't know why. Hopefully it works. The Aviator Nation hoodie. I felt like this was too good to be true. I thought it was gonna be like a she and dupe or something, but it's legit, the real Aviator Nation. One thing though I did find out when I got home is this has been altered. Somebody kind of DIY cropped it. They cut the elastic band off the bottom, but I honestly thought it was intentional. I didn't notice until I was looking at stock images and I saw that and I was like, this is different. None of these have this kind of hem, but either way, it's still really cool, in great condition other than that. And that jacket that I found that just gives Aviator Nation vibes is so cool upon further research i think this is 70s but i'm not for sure i haven't been able to find the exact match but i have found really similar styles and everybody says they're you know linked to the 70s who knows haven't found this brand i did find a couple of small flaws when i got home but i've already fixed them so i washed this bad boy in oxyclean just to kind of get the funk out and then i noticed as i was like hanging it up, it had a couple of really small holes in the back. So I went ahead and kind of stitched them up myself and I don't, I mean, I don't think anybody will ever notice. So really cool. I, I just love the rainbow. The Zadig and Voltaire striped sweater. I felt this, I knew it felt nice. And then I saw that tag and was like, yep, it is nice. I was a little bit concerned when I saw these like little pulls in the fabric, but they almost looked too intentional. I was like, I don't know. I don't think that those are a flaw. I don't think I should put it back. And I'm really glad I trusted my gut because I looked on the stock images and they're all there. So it's definitely an intentional kind of addition. Same with the cuffs. The cuffs kind of have like a uneven looking hem, but that's part of the, the style, I guess. So really cool find. This is a Urban Outfitters new with tag gauzy cotton button up. I actually did not find this exact one online anywhere. All of the ones that I saw that were similar online have two 
pockets up here, but this one only has one. And I mean, it's new with tags, so I feel like it's relatively, you know, a recent style. So I'm surprised I couldn't find any listings for it online. This is a Princess Highway little swan printed button up. Princess Highway is often sold at Mod Cloth. They just have these fun, funky patterns like these and that vintage kind of style. Like this has slightly puffed sleeves. I think this is just such a sweet top. A waffle knit shacket. I just really love, I, I don't know. I don't know if shackets are still that popular, but they're so practical to throw on with anything. And I really loved the feel of this one. It just feels like a blanket. It just, it just looks cozy. So I had to get it. I am just obsessed with this. I always have to pick them up and check them out. This one is vintage. It's 100% cotton. It's like this woven textile material. And I love that it looks like a waistcoat, yet it's so boho and western it just kind of is such a fun contrast an anthropology tunic tank i just couldn't pass this up because it's so on season and in great condition a very cool vintage blouse i love the neck on this i actually think this is really interesting because usually vintage blouses have a lot of buttons but this one really only has two right here so just kind of an interesting style it's a size 3x and it did have some falls but i actually was able to get them out completely so it had a lot of i want to say it was makeup um around the collar but i was able to just wash it right out and it looks as good as new this is a little open crochet knit sweater that i will be keeping i just really like throwing these on in the spring because like I said about crochet it just doesn't feel so hot and it just feels a little bit more breathable but yet it feels more in line with spring I don't just like dry diving right into just wearing tanks and shorts I kind of like to you know wear some sweaters but it's too hot here to just wear like a regular sweater so this will work really well this free people pullover I thought it was in perfect condition when I found it but then I got home and I saw it in front of my ring lights while it was steaming and I noticed that it had these little spots so I soaked it in oxyclean I'm trying to see if they all came out no I see them still slightly they look a lot lighter I'm sure you guys probably aren't even seeing it but I'm always very hyper aware of that kind of stuff so I don't really know what I'm going to do with this piece given the little marks that are all over it. But that just kind of happens at the bins. I feel like you you just have to accept that a couple pieces are probably going to be flawed even though you think they are 100% perfect because you're just not able to assess them in the proper light. I have a couple of other pieces I want to show you guys that just ended up having more falls than I initially thought. I had to pull over a bunch more stuff to go through, but I want to show you guys some really fun baby pieces. My friend's having a baby and I'm just really excited because I never look at the baby stuff, but this was a fun excuse. This little baby dress, I don't know, I just thought that was really cute for like the spring, summer. She'll probably be able to wear that like right away. I think it's like three months or something. Nope, it's nine months. Dang it, I'm really bad at <laughs> at judging baby sizes. Anyway, I also have, I have a bunch more stuff that I've just found over time, but this is all from this trip. This little bundle sack, probably the wrong turns. Okay, another cute little floral dress. This one is definitely for three months. I'm, I'm pretty sure I know one of them was for three months. Yeah, okay, three to six, that, that should work. This is definitely not for a while that she'll be able to wear this. What is, what is the size? 12 to eight months, but look at this. Look at the little Zuck. This is so cute. And then the back, just insane. Absolutely adorable. And this, a little North Face puffer jacket. And it's really cool because I guess you can fold down the, the cuffs and make little mittens. So cool. I've washed, I've washed this. I washed the baby dresses. I need to wash these 
and soak them. I've steamed them, but I, I always want to make sure that I wash those things like in like organic laundry detergent before I give them to a baby. But now back to human clothing. Well, I guess babies are humans, but you know what I mean, adult clothing. This 100% silk sequin embellished mini skirt. It is vintage INC. Just so fun. I love sequins. I love vintage. I love silk. This is a satin fun pink midi skirt. Some Levi's trousers. These are the Math Club trouser. They actually were also sold at Free People. Really, honestly, surprised to find them. They still had the tag on them for Goodwill, and they were only priced at $7, which isn't a bad price for something that was sold, or an, I'm, it might even still be being sold on Free People for like a hundred. Ooh, okay. I need to do a little bit more research on this, but this is a leather zip skirt. I don't know the exact brand because there is no tag in it. I just can tell it is so quality by the hardware, the fact that this is definitely genuine leather it's lined and it looks really similar to a revolve skirt that retailed for like three hundred dollars I, I forget the brand it was a really obscure brand but i don't know how to confirm that that's the case given that there's no tags involved so i got to do a little bit more research on this but just too quality to pass up. I really just love gauzy cotton comfy pants and these are some airy gauzy cotton comfy pants perfect for lounging in or like wearing in the summer to like the beach with just like a bikini top. This is a free people satin midi skirt. I just, I love this print. It looks like fans, but it's actually little flowers. It's really cool. I'm a sucker for overalls and I just couldn't pass these up. These are vintage. They're in really good condition other than one small hole. But I kind of got the consensus from a couple of other people at the bins. I was like, what do you think? I, I think they're still cool even with the hole. They were like, yeah, yeah, it gives them character. It's like, okay, cool. So I still got them, um, but they do have a small hole on the back, but I feel like that's a style, you know? You don't wanna wear overalls that are in perfect condition. They're meant to be worn and like, you know, used, not just like perfect, like office wear. Okay, ooh, the Ted Baker swimsuit. Really nice quality. At first, when I found this, I thought it had never been worn, but then when I had it in front of the ring light, I saw there is just a smidge, and I mean smidge, you can, it maybe was worn once, you know, when you sit on like the side of a pool and it can snag just a little bit, it has just a little bit of that snagging, not much, so I still don't think it was worn a lot, but probably worn, you know, once or twice. But either way, it's been fully washed, steamed, so it's clean, it's ready to go. Great condition. Perfect for summer. Some Athleta, little athletic shorts. We have some Tommy Hilfiger boyfriend fit jean shorts. I just love vintage jean shorts so much. Although I did get a pair of modern jean shorts. These ones are from Madewell. I am hoping that they fit me. They are my size, so I need to try them out. I don't have a pair of black denim shorts that I really love. And I do sometimes like Madewell jeans. It just depends on the, the fit, the style I've noticed. And I haven't tried this high rise denim short before. So I'm interested to see if I like the way that it looks on me. Ooh, I got a pajama set for myself. I am trying to sleep in natural fibers more. I felt that these were 100% cotton and they're really nice and thin, which I feel like will be nice for summer. And how cute is this little animal print action? I think these are really 
just just a fun little set I am a sucker for athletic tanks with built-in bras that's like what I'm wearing right now I feel like that's what I wear almost every day because uh, I just wear so much athleisure so I got this one from Nike I feel like this is more vintage I don't know if it's true vintage but it's definitely more retro just a cute little cropped tank and then we have a couple of bags I know I showed you guys these this little aloe tote bag the Alice and Olivia duffel bag that also has the strap and within it I have two cute little vintage bags look how cute this one is with like the beaded and sequin embellishments and then this one is like a little coin purse but it's actually a little mini handbag this north face hydra vent women's red jacket this new with tag wild fable little mini dress i know it's just wild fable but i just loved this pattern and it's new with tag so i just think it's so cute for spring and summer now the items that i need to clean a little more and or take to the dry cleaners this night scene vest i i love funky vests i don't know if you guys can tell but this one so fun with the night scene and then it's got little stars here and it's really nothing major it's just got some little spots on it and I think I just need to wash it by itself I can't do like a group wash I do think that I can wash this one on my own I actually don't know why this is in that bag but this is a set active sports bra all right get the whole vision I don't want to try this on because it, it does need to be cleaned but this is a matching plaid little suit set but it's a woman's suit set and I think it will, will fit me but it smells a little funky because I think this is in that batch that somebody had had like in an attic or something like that but how cool that it's the matching set I am really really excited to be able to try this out I was gonna just wash it myself but I don't know it it says to dry clean only and I feel a little nervous. I know with certain fabrics that I've had experience with before, I, I don't worry about washing my, myself, but I've never washed something like that. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the professionals do it. I wanted to get a quote on this one, but I really just liked this pattern. It is dry clean only silk. Sometimes I can wash silk on my own with like wool light or some kind of detergent, but I don't know this one says dry clean only and I just really like this pattern so we'll see I haven't been to a dry cleaner recently so if they quote me like a crazy amount for a dress like that I probably will just cut my losses and just redonate it but it's worth a shot same with this one this is such an amazing patchwork black bodycon mini dress but it does have some funk in it because it was in that same bin with just the funky pieces but they were so cool like and I left some really cool ones behind I just got like the best of the best but this was like the best of the best so we we have to take a shot we have to see how much it will be but it's worth it's worth it I kind of felt like since I was getting so much I I knew I was gonna hit 50 pounds so I feel like this was my like my risk bag this blazer I just love a vintage blazer and I love this brand I know I showed you guys already the Joan Leslie brand it's it's a good fit of a blazer it's all the best of vintage nice prints funky collars this is another funky blazer this little beaded sequin number but again it just has that funky smell I'm hoping that dry cleaning will take care of it. I don't, I don't know. This little denim mini bag, just a cutie, just a cutie. And I did get this because 
I, I really want to ask my friend about it. The green sequin dress. I feel like this is true vintage 60s or 70s, just judging off of the way that it's put together, but I'm not 100% sure. The other thing that kind of lends me to believe that is the way that the sequins are put on. More modern sequins are not attached like this. This has almost a yarn attachment underneath the sequins. Whereas this like 90s sequin skirt is just attached with like a simple piece of thread. And I feel like even more modern sequins are almost attached with like a, a fishing line material. So this is just very different construction and it feels so quality compared to modern. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. It does have a little flaw. The strap is coming loose, but that's really not a hard fix. So I want to try it out. I want to see if I can find out some more information about it. I feel like my friend Steph that runs um, Shop Postura will know a little bit more. I just... I was really intrigued. I love this color. I love this pattern. You got to take a couple risks when you go to the bins. And like I said, there are definitely are pieces where you just don't realize that they have flaws. They need mending. So let's run through those pieces real quick. This little Zara corset, the hook eye closure attachment fell out when I was steaming it. This Free People long sleeve the metal piece faded on the collar. It also faded on the sleeves. I tried to wash it again. It just made it worse. So I don't know. I would, I'm would. i glad that it happened to me and I didn't sell it and then somebody had that happen to them. This has like really faint white marks on it. You don't even notice um, when it's not in front of a ring light, but they are there. This Ba and sh or Bash, I don't know how you say this brand, so apologize in advance. But this has a stain on the back and it's pretty apparent. It also really explicitly says, do not hand wash this. And I tried to read online about how to wash this kind of viscose blend, but it says you'll ruin the fabric. So I don't know, this one is probably a lost cause. I thought that this Stark dress was in perfect condition, even when I was steaming it, but then I got to photograph it in front of the ring lights and I noticed there were really light spots on it. This Free People button down crochet detail top is missing a button on the sleeve. I'm really not concerned about it. I think that I'll probably just keep this piece for myself, but I just wanna show you guys like, you know, I know I got so much and it's amazing, but there are definitely some flaws. It's not 100% perfect. This brand, Comptoir de Cotoniers, I don't know if that's how you say it, but anywho, I really thought this piece was in perfect condition same thing i got to photograph it and i saw that it had this like really faint washed out stain but this brand is really interesting because it's almost like kinks before kinks was a thing so it's like high-end luxury but made affordable and i think that it was really popular like in 2015. Ooh, this maxi skirt still really cute but the blue is apparent like it's very apparent that it's faded and I don't think that it's a, intentional so that's a shame but still really cute really pretty and maybe it just looks like it's intentional and lastly the unfortunate thing about silk is that I guess moths like to eat it and I did not notice this in the bins I have steamed it so if it had moths or something on it I would have killed them but you can see it has really really faint little baby holes throughout the back which is so unfortunate because this would be so cool as like a beach cover-up and it still could be maybe like 
I could just wear it. I don't know. I feel like everything in my wardrobe is just like very, very slightly flawed because th those are the items that I just am like, oh, they need, a, they need a second chance. They need a home. They need love. And so I just end up keeping them. And that is everything. I know we ended on a bit of a bad note with the items that had flaws, the items that still need to be washed and dry cleaned, but we started off with the best of the best. I mean, Brooklinen, multiple $500 dresses that were brand new with tags, Aviator Nation, Alice and Olivia, like just so many gems. This has to be my best haul yet. Thank you guys for sitting through and watching everything because there was a lot. I am so excited to host a whatnot sale at the beginning of April. I'll have all of the links for that down below. If you guys are looking for something particular, let me know because I know I will be thrifting again between now and then. I am just so happy. I am so happy the thrift gods were with us. I'm so happy you guys were here. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I cannot wait to be back here with more thrifty content soon. Bye for now.